What do you want me to say? That was... That was the absolute definition of just all-around team collapse. When you're up 27-3 to in the, four, in the third quarter, and you give up 31 unanswered points, 21 of them are uh, points off turnovers, and you lose like that... I'm lost for words. I, I I was at work. I was at work today, so I did not actually see the game, but um, just finished watching most of it. I mean, I mean, I don't want to watch it all again. I mean, that's just I don't want to watch it all. I mean, it just it, it hurts to watch all that. But I followed the whole third quarter on my phone, and I remember going to lunch, and the score is twenty-seven three. I thought we have this. I mean, you you have this. I mean, you, Dez has got two touchdowns. Was one to Jason Witten. Tony's on fire. The whole offense is on fire. The defense is stopping Matthew Stafford. I mean, we're it's <laughs> um. Then Tony starts to play, you know. Throws two pick sixes in two consecutive drives. One pick six. Then another consecutive drives. Twenty-seven seventeen in about five minutes. I almost don't want to go into. I don't want to go into all of what happened because you know what happened, and I don't want to get into it because I'll talk about it, but I don't want to get deeply into it because it only makes me more pissed off, and it makes me realize you know. Looking back on all the games, the games that we won, there's no reason why we're two and two, because we have every reason to be one and uh, to zero oh and four. If you think about it, because let me tell you something, guys. If we were a good team, we would have kept that lead. We would have kept that lead. We would have beaten Detroit, ended the streak. We would have been three and one going into the bye with a really positive note, but. We decided to commit the biggest fourth quarter collapse when we're up by, God knows, we were up by 24 points. The biggest collapse in franchise history. We've, we've, we've beaten that record twice this year. Let me tell you something, guys. Good teams don't do that. Are we a good team? I don't know. I don't know. Good teams don't do that. They don't they don't blow a 27 to 3 lead in the third quarter. They don't do that. Fuck. 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 Oh. That was absolute just, I'm still, I mean, I'm still thinking about it. I mean, when you, these kind of, this is kind of loss you're going to think about for a while. Because it's just, you're up, you were there, the, the wind is staring at you in the face. And the thing is, I even said in my last video, I'm content of being 2-2. Two and two. I was content about that because I thought, we're going to struggle a little bit, but we, we, we may lose. Okay, it's fine. But the victory was staring at us, right in our faces at 27-3. to three. And then it was snatched away from us as fast as you can think, as fast as you, a blink of an eye, it was gone. And you, like I said, good teams don't, good teams don't do that. Is Tony Romo a good quarterback? Good quarterbacks don't do that. Is our defense good? Good defenses will keep our lead. Good defenses will keep us in the game. Our defense let us down twice. No sacks today. No sacks on Matthew Stafford. Are you serious? Pathetic is an understatement. When it comes to I mean, the Detroit Lions. You know what's funny? I don't even want to take it away from the Detroit Lions. Because the Detroit Lions, they're a legit team. They are what their record shows, and they're 4-0. 
Thanks for kicking our ass, Detroit. Maybe this will snap us back into the real life that, you know, we got a lot of work to do, a lot more to impress me after this loss. If we win against New England, who has the, the, the worst defense in the league, if we win that one, I'll be happy, but this hurts, man. This They got some major kissing, ass kissing to do with me, because... They don't even deserve a how about them Cowboys from me. They don't deserve it.